Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about the dankest memes from the dank memes from dank dank the dank memes from the dank dank I did it again. I've done this before. The dank memes from site 19 subreddit. You have to forgive me, I just woke up. But let's get started. This one is by I'm I'm going to remember the names this time. Hopefully. This one's by underscore shoulder underscore. Me exists or something. Dr. Sumerian, you're wrong about literally everything. Yeah. This is all, the thing that this reminds... Well, first of all, cool image, sort of. Uh, <laughs> it does look a little... There is something to it. I'm just not sure what that thing is. I, um... I think I need to get back to doing you're wrong about videos, but there, I, I, I've covered so many misconceptions that I, it's difficult for me to think of new misconceptions to correct. Uh, not that you're not wrong about stuff all the time, and so am I, but uh, also that uh, the, the details and the specifics are not necessarily always video worthy, if that makes sense. It could be... You're wrong about lots of stuff and do like little snippets here and there. The the unusual incidents unit. An anomaly, the foundation. This is also by underscore shoulder underscore. Gonna remember these names. The unusual incidents unit. An anomaly the foundation doesn't care about. Our battle will be epic. I don't know why I decided to do that, but uh, I did. I always found the unusual incidents unit to be a lot more interesting than people give it credit for. Uh, but also, it's always so strange when they're treated as like the redheaded stepchild of the uh, anomalous community. Like everybody's just like, oh, yeah, those guys who can't ever get anything right. But it's nice for someone to have that niche. This article should be a dash J. Oh, uh, yeah. Two types of people. This article should be a dash J. This dash J article should be on the main list. Listen, man, there is a point where the silly gets too uh, extreme and something deserves to be a dash J. This is by oh, this is by Bush guy nine. Uh, there is a point where that's true, um, where something should be, quote unquote, should be a dash J. Um, as someone who I think, at least, has written some fairly funny SCPs for the main list, however, I think what it what it boils down to is, do you need to abandon the premise that this is real in order to tell your joke? So, um, I think two of the Dash J's I've written are also written as though they were main list articles. I don't abandon the format. I don't abandon the tone even necessarily. It's just there's a joke at the end. Um... And I use the format of it being an SCP to, at the end, reverse the expectation that it's an actual legitimate document into something else. That's part of the joke. And when it comes to jokes, you, at, the, at the end of the story, at the end of the thing, at the joke, at the end of anything, usually, not always, because comedy is subjective. But when you're telling a joke joke, like a structured thing, the ending needs to be reversible of expectations. Well, I shouldn't say needs to be. Can be a reversal of expectations, and that will make it funny. Uh, not always. That's also not always true. Every, everything you, every definitive thing I say about a joke is absolutely not definitive. Uh, I'll try to correct myself as best as possible. So, yeah. The expectation is this is a normal article. Oh, wait, no, it's not, because that's just too ridiculous for it to be a normal article. Um, what's the best example? Oh, yeah, best example is um, a terrain. F no, not terrain. F yeah, it is terrain fumble. Terrain fumble is about a um, an anomalous effect that causes people to f be incapable of recognizing uh, rivers, seas, oceans, and so on. The ending line is, um, somebody asks, puts a map in front of someone. Oh, wait, no, is it a specific Rand McNally map? I think it's a specific Rand McNally map that you look at and you can't recognize any of the oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, so on and so forth. And someone will ask, you know, look at this map and tell me what this is. And they'll point to, say, the Pacific Ocean. 
And the punchline is right then they say, what do you see? What is this? And the person says, I don't recognize the bodies of water. For anyone who's familiar with the SCP wiki, uh, I, you don't recognize the bodies in the water is a common refrain. It's a joke. It's a, also a uh, fairly interesting, I think, uh, SCP in the sense that it's very simple in what it does. Uh, and that that's the reversal. I end it there. There's no reason to continue after that because there's no way this is a serious real SCP anymore. That's it. That's the end. Line. Well, I think there's maybe like a slight summa summarate some summarization uh summation paragraph that's like one and a half sentences long roughly <laughs> one and a half you can't really have one and a half sentences but it's about that ish long that basically just goes and that's the end of the document but that's it you don't need to continue after that um but you can do the opposite too Something can be very, very funny, and you can keep going, as long as what's making it funny doesn't make it unrealistic. Anyway, we've gone into this for quite some time. <laughs> this one is by Comfy Cat Girl, SV343. I am God. Mary Nakia Nakayama. No, you ain't. Uh, this is about Kate McTierris's O one, which is my favorite. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There's no harmony in the universe. The only constant is suffering minutes later oh my god a chair i feel like i mean this is funny um but what would be uh i'm i'm sure someone's done this before but it would be like no you can't just destroy a chair haha <laughs> chair go burr that meme it's the first one i thought of when i saw this because literally the chair goes burr <laughs> um yeah this stupid ass goc oh this one's by jamage Wait, G May Jimaji. Jimaji? Sure, Jimaji. Yeah, I'm not the GOC as the uh destroyer of war destroyer of chairs. Destroyer of worlds is uh I mean, it's not necessarily the prevalent, I'd say, modern interpretation of the GOC, but it's still perfectly valid, honestly. Um and frankly, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. I mean, the GOC is a tool of authority to enforce its authority. It's the thing about normalcy and anomalies. When you define normalcy and anomalies, what you're doing is you're defining uh, the things that keep you in power and the things that could possibly take you out of power. And the GOC is all about nations remaining in power. Uh, or I should say the UN is more about is about nations remaining in power. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way, but because, I mean, nations are important, I think uh, I'm not an anarchist, but or I'm not a specific kind of anarchist. <laughs> Ugh, ugh, politics. And this is the actual actual politics, not my opinions on this or my opinions on that, but actual discussion of political structures. Uh, the GOC is there to support those political structures, though. So, yeah, a chair that teleports underneath you on its own doesn't seem like a huge threat. But consider the idea that this chair represents a certain level of what's the word I'm looking for? Um, disruption to the status quo. When you are the status quo, any disruption is is a serious threat, and the chair becomes a threat, a real, viable, serious threat to your future. And so you destroy it, or at least you try, and then it teleports into your lungs and kills you, because anomalies don't care about your... <laughs> anomalies don't care about your country! Is that the last one? That's the last one. But, um... Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100, and MC Kajmil, who's pledged at $50. And also, I am bringing back um, Critique for uh patreon backing so if you decide you want to back me it's not necessarily a uh necessary thing 
But if you decide to back me on Patreon at a level of $10 or higher, then I will once a month critique up to a 5,000. Yeah, it's a 5,000 word draft of yours. So hmm, something to consider. And if you're already pledged, well, at one of those levels, then cool. Thank you very much for watching, though. And thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.